Yeah, so we have here 500 milliliters of just regular distilled water. And we're going to see what happens when we mix ethanol with it. So we have 500 milliliters. And I measured this out to try to be you know, as exact as possible with this uh, one liter graduate cylinder. So I'm just going to temporarily put it in the speaker. Try to get all the drops here. At least most of them. Okay, and I'll take some ethanol. And we're going to put about 500 milliliters of ethanol. Dead on. Okay, so now we're going to mix the two. So water and ethanol are miscible, meaning they're soluble in one another, completely soluble. Water is heavier, right, or more precisely, more dense than ethanol. So by uh, putting the water in last, they're going to mix. The water is sinking in the ethanol. But here's the crazy thing. It's not that exciting mixing two clear liquids. But what is very interesting is that the total volume is clearly less than 1,000 milliliters, one liter, right? We have 500 milliliters of water, 500 milliliters of ethanol. And we ended up with 900 and looks like uh, 70, 970 milliliters of solution total. So why is that? That's because water and ethanol, they're miscible but they also have uh, intermolecular forces that interact with one another. So the resulting solution is actually more dense than the sum of its parts. They're interacting with and packing with each other to make, uh, take up less space. 